How to move an image. Welcome to Coco's 2D Tutorials. Brought to you by Bob Euland. For more information, go to bobuland.com slash Cocos 2D. We are inside Xcode and our task is to move an image on the iPhone screen. And our plan is to create an action and then apply the action on the sprite. We will start from the code which we made in the tutorial how to show an image. As you remember, we created a sprite with the help of the image which we imported in the resources. We set its position and then we added the sprite to the layer. Now we want to create an action. What actions are there? Let's go to the documentation. Look for actions. And here you can see a lot of actions. CC move to looks promising. Here we have action with duration and position message, which we could use. So let's create an action which we can call move and we create it by sending something to cc move to and the message is action with duration we want this one action with duration and also a position so for duration we can choose something like 4.2 seconds and for position let's take some point for instance 400 160 and now Let us apply the action on our sprite and we do it like this. Sprite name, run action and then the action in question which we called move. Okay, let's test this. And as you can see, it works. Let's see if we can have some other action. For instance, rotate by to rotate our sprite. Let's test that one. We comment this out and create a new action id call it something for instance rotate the class is cc rotate by message action with duration and angle duration is for instance 3.1 seconds and the angle is 360 degrees run action rotate and let's test this one
and as you can see it works. What if we would like to both move and rotate the bird at the same time? Well, in that case, we could use something called CC Spawn, that is to run actions in parallel. Let's test that one. We uncomment this one and create a new action called something, for instance, parallel. And the class is CC spawn. And then we have actions and then a list of actions which we want to create run in parallel and it must end with nil. So let's take that one and use move, rotate, now we have this parallel action, let's try it. And as you can see, the rotation finished before the movement. And that's because it was shorter. Let's put this also to the same length as the movement. So they end at the same time. Okay, it works. But what if we wanted to run these actions in sequence? First the movement and then the rotation. Well, in that case, we could use CC sequence. So let's comment this out and create an action. call it something, for instance, sequence, and we send a message to CC sequence. And here we also have a nil terminated list. Let's take move, rotate, and nil and run the sequence section like this and as you can see it works one final action that i want to show you is one called delay time, which is used to make delays. So let's create a delay action, ID. Let's call it something, for instance, delay. And the class is CC delay time. Action with duration. And let's say one second. And let's now take a sequence which starts with a delay, then the movement, then another delay, 
and then the rotation. Let's test this. Here comes the delay. And as you can see, it works. You can, of course, make more complicated actions, but that is best done by experimenting. Okay, thank you for watching.